What's up guys? Lotus here. Back on the Kyosho boat. So we've got the uh, GT32 here. Just to review. Come out here to show the camera. We've got uh, the engine. This is how it looks. Now, before we send it in. Yeah. Nice little busted cardboard seal. I have to find something to replace that. Pretty goopy down in there, if you guys can see. And, uh, that's what our back plate looks like. And needles and all that stuff is in there. So, drop it down. All right, so we'll leave it like that for probably at least one go through, and then I may flip it around so it gets everything else clean. And uh, let's see if this guy'll fit. Hopefully, right there. Cool. All right, guys, we'll bring you back when uh, when that's done cooking, and probably put it through another round, do a little scrubbing on it. Uh, so all we've got in the cleaner there is some old simple green Does a good job at breaking all the stuff up once it gets warmed up. All right talk to you guys in a minute guys it's been the first 30 minutes so let's uh see what we got here outside everything definitely looks a lot cleaner still got some gunk in there Taking a little of it off. Definitely looks a bit nicer on the inside, but I think we're still gonna send her again. That definitely cleaned up quite a bit. But she's still got gunk everywhere, so we will send it back through oh wow okay so that cleaned up just about completely let's see that one's still got a little bit of stuff in it and our carb still got some stuff in it and it is still seized Back there it goes. All right guys, back again. Let's see how she's looking this time. I think it may have darkened up a little bit on me Let's see yeah. uh, I may have to pull that piston if I want to get any more abrasive than that definitely work some of this stuff out It 
this point though I think I'm gonna go ahead and break down this engine completely and then come at it again because honestly those bearings look kind of rusty if you can see those down in there let's see if I can get a good angle let's see down across the bottom of the crank into the bearings they're uh, they're not looking completely great it does seem to have picked up some compression Look at that. Pull that out. That's looking pretty good. Get all the rest of this stuff out of here. Needle. And our carburetor. Let's see if uh, she comes loose for us. Nope. Still stuck. Alright, I think I'm going to get something and try to break this down. What's up, guys? Lotus420 here. We're back with the Kyosho Jetstream 1000. We, uh, we've got the uh, Kyosho GT35 cleaned up, freed up, ready to run. So uh, I figured we could give her a test fire and see if we can get it running. It may take me a second because I lost the needle settings. I was not smart and counted them out. So we're probably going to have to play with the low side needle a little bit to get it to start. But uh, we should be able to get her there. So uh, we're just going to fire it for a little while. We've got some water cooling on it. Basically, just want to test fire it here, run, see how it goes, and uh, after that, we will probably start working on the engine compartment for the boat so we can get it back in, as well as fixing the couple cracks that are in the hull, and then uh, I may actually paint the bottom of the hull just to reinforce it a little bit. I'm not sure yet. It is still pretty strong, so it'd probably be okay. We may test the boat out just to... Uh, you know take it out and put it on the water but we'll see how that goes all that'll be in the future for now i'm gonna move camera around and stuff and uh, we'll try to get this engine fired up all right guys we've uh, opened it up a little bit i think i'm opening up a little bit more let's see if we can get it to do something That air gap is all the way closed off. All right, back in a second. All right, guys. So All right, guys, wish me some luck. Let's see what we can get out of it here. The head is leaking. Yeah, we're not sealed out better. All right, guys, let's see what we can do. She kicks. Ooh, that's a lot. Alright. I'm gonna go do the clamp. I'll be right back. Alright. Alright guys. Well, let's start.
do not see fuel going into it. Something's still gummed up on that carb. Let's try and cheat a little. Alright, that ought to at least get us a few pops and cracks. Alright, let's see if she'll uh, make some noise for us. Not too bad. Fired up, sounded like it was gonna run nice, but uh, I'm sure we've just still got nothing out of that. That's, uh, definitely got some issues to address. Uh, that might be stripped. I forgot this head screw is stripped. Gonna have to do something about that. Maybe drill it, tap it, and bump it up to the next size. That is not good. Let's uh let's just juice her a little bit more and see if we can get a little bit more out of it. Alright guys, so I think I'm going to leave it at that and go ahead and do some work on it. This has definitely still got a few issues, but it's also, I feel like it's going to run fine. The way it starts and runs real good like that, I think she's going to run fine. So, uh, we will definitely get this out with because it's just sitting in there and that's not good. But, um, I guess we'll call it on this one. I really wish we could have left it run a little bit longer, but something is still clogged in this carburetor as well as we are leaking water from the cooling in the head, which could be going into the engine. I'm not really sure, so we don't want that. So, All right, guys, thanks for checking this out. Um, look forward to the next one. Um, I might do a short video on repairing this, uh, but the next one will probably be... Uh, repairing the inside of the engine bay here which isn't really too bad besides one spot here where it looked like it got hot and then I'm betting some fuel leaked through and caused a weak spot which is why it fractured down here which this is a wee bit soft and it's cracked all the way through so we'll just do a layer of epoxy across there probably and just seal the whole thing up. But uh, that'll be it for this episode. So we'll get that sealed up, probably fill these holes in so we can redrill them, put stuff where we want it. This is really the big issue over here is these that are blown out. But uh, that'll be it. Now you guys can see me all right so uh that'll be it for this episode thanks for checking it out and uh we'll catch you guys in the next one <laughs>
lost it right there. I know it sounds like she's chugging along, but uh, I just had it pretty leaned out and uh, it didn't do very well. Oh well, as Hybrid says, she's running rich and loud. It really has a problem with the prop being up too high. I'm not sure if it's vibrated back up or if uh, it just won't allow it to go down far enough for the boat. Once it's planted, it's good, but when it slows down or it takes those tight turns, it always wants to uh, do that. <laughs> Not really the fastest boat on the water, but it sure is fun to drive. Makes all the right noises. Very, very minute inputs for this to turn. You see how much I'm turning there?
Anything more than that and it will flip. But if you're real delicate, she goes, man. I'm getting you guys with the reflection from the sun a bit. It's uh, honestly starting to get in my eyes too. Sounds like she's starting to get unhappy. We're gonna let her slow boat around for a while. See, it's so high in the rear front. It really is a fun boat to just kind of coast around, but I think she about died on me there. It really does like to load up in the low throttle. She might be taking on water too. 